Recently I've heard that a lot of people have been having FPS issues in Fortnite because of the Epic Games launcher. Apparently if you just have the Epic Games launcher open, it can cause your GPU or graphics card to max out at 100% usage, and that's even without having Fortnite open as well. So this is obviously bad, because when you do open up Fortnite and you play a game, you'll most likely get some FPS drops slash stutters occurring. So this is a massive issue for anyone that's actually getting affected directly by this. So today I thought I'd make a quick video explaining a few methods on how to fix it to make sure that the Epic Games launcher is closed after you do indeed launch Fortnite, which should obviously result in getting more FPS for you. Getting straight into it, before I showcase the methods on how to close the launcher after opening Fortnite, I want to quickly show you guys how to optimise the Epic Games launcher firstly before we do all of that. Just simply open up the Epic Games launcher, then click on your icon or your profile icon at the top right corner, then select the settings tab. Then then inside of this you should see preferences and underneath preferences you want mostly everything unchecked. There's a few optional ones like run when my computer starts or enable cloud saves that you can leave on but I myself personally don't but you can. And if we actually scroll down to where it says desktop notifications you want to uncheck both of these as apparently these can cause crashes and FPS drops for some when they are announced by Epic Games. Then if you scroll down to more under where it says manage games there'll be a setting called allow auto updates and allow installs during gameplay. Allow auto updates is optional, I myself keep this checked, but I do not keep the allow installs during gameplay checked as that can actually cause high ping. As well at the bottom you should see a Fortnite tab or rather a drop down, just give that a click. Then you want to go ahead and select the additional command line arguments option and this should give you a little box. Inside of this you want to type in the following command line arguments. The first one is dash lan play in all capitals. The second one is dash no splash all capitals again and then the third one is dash use all available cores all in caps again and that right there is all you have to do to optimize the epic games launcher moving on to the methods of closing the epic games launcher after obviously opening up fortnite there's a few different ways to stop it from running in the background the first method is by pressing ctrl alt delete at the same time this will then open this screen just select the task manager and then inside of this you want to go ahead and end the epic games launcher process method number Number two is to actually tab out of Fortnite when it's obviously open. Go to the bottom right of your desktop and you should see the little icon tick. Just click on that and you should see all of your active um, background applications. You want to find the Epic Games one and exit out of that by right clicking on it. And finally for method number three, you can actually run Fortnite without even opening the Epic Games launcher. By going into the core data file where Fortnite is installed, this should be under your program files under Epic Games. Then click on the Fortnite folder the Fortnite game folder, binaries, and then under either Win64 or 32, you should see an exe file called fortniteclient-shipping.exe. And inside of this, guys, all you want to do is make that an application shortcut on your desktop. And what this will do is it'll allow you to launch Fortnite from this application without the need of opening the Epic Games launcher, which is beneficial to those out there that are having this high 100% GPU usage issue with the launcher in itself. Oh, and as well as a file Final fix, I actually recommend that all of you guys use the latest drivers that are installed on your graphics card. If you literally just open NVIDIA experience like this, then click on the driver section at the top, you will see there is a brand new driver and you want to go ahead and make sure that is installed. This is really important because these newly updated drivers can actually fix the high GPU usage issues that many, many people are experiencing. So hopefully one of those methods did in fact help you. If it did, feel free to drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.